In this video, I will present zero CDE cataract surgery using a modified pop and chop technique. The cataract surgery is performed using the Alcon Centurion Vision System. Once the eye has been anesthetized with preservative-free lidocaine, the anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastic. The keratome is used to enter the anterior chamber and a continuous curvilinear capsularexis is performed. Once the capsularexis has been accomplished, a hydrodissection cannula is placed under the anterior capsule and a fluid wave is used to prolapse the nucleus into the anterior chamber. The lens is then cracked between a cyclodialysis spatula and the phaco tip. This procedure can be performed multiple times to break the nucleus up into smaller pieces. Once the initial fracture of the nucleus has been performed, additional cracking of the nucleus can be performed between the cyclodialysis spatula and the end of the phaco tip. The nuclear fragments are removed using a vacuum setting of 600 millimeters of mercury at a flow rate of 40 microliters per minute. If pieces of nucleus become occluded at the end of the phaco tip, then the cyclodialysis spatula again can be used to push these pieces into the phaco tip, allowing for the vacuum to successfully remove them. Once the nuclear material has been successfully removed, the remaining cortical material can be removed using standard irrigation and aspiration techniques. Once the cortical cleanup has been completed, the capsular bag is inflated with viscoelastic and the intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag. Once the lens has been centered in the capsular bag, the viscoelastic is removed by irrigation and aspiration. Once the viscoat has been removed from the eye, the wound is hydrated and then checked with a Wexel spear to be certain that it is watertight without sutures. <laughs> 